out in Tuanua. And we're going to take a look at their new video, a song which has done extremely well for them. We've just heard that over in Holland it has gone to number 24 on the charts. Here's Seven Into the Sea. A seven into the sea there from that memorable self aid concert. Will you welcome, please, Leslie Dowdle? Yeah. Hi, Leslie. Hi, 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 that was a great gig, but it's only one of a number of many great gigs that you've done over the last while. How do you keep that drive in the live performance when there's such a gap between concerts? Well, it, it makes it more exciting. We don't, I mean, we've only done, we're hoping to do a lot more in the near future. It's, um, it's just enthusiasm. It gives you the drive and the, the crowd, you get the excitement off them. How much can you recreate the, the live set in rehearsal when you've had maybe four months off or you're in a rehearsal studio or, or you're about to go out on tour? How, how accurately can you get that feel before you go on stage? Um, it takes a while. I mean, I mean it, it's the first few gigs are always kind of, once you've done them, it, you'll get into it. Like it, it doesn't happen in rehearsals. I mean, you can make it, you don't have the live feel of it, but it takes a while. You've got the, uh, the new members settled in at this stage, I suppose, after a few months. Yeah. How much has, have, have they changed the vibe of the band from within? 
Uh, well, I think we've changed completely in the last one. We've gone much more rocky than the, the old in Tuanu. And they've been a great welcome. Like, they've, they've come, like, Angela's come from a classical background and Brian's come from traditional and they've, they've, they give a nice blend. Do you ever have, say, disagreements within the band, kind of? Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> of course I do, yeah. Well, like, and how do you handle them, like, that kind of thing? Well, it's like, any, like, it's great. I mean, there's seven people, so, I mean, if you fight with one, there's always another six. But it's like a family thing. It's, it's, it's good, it's good. You changed the songwriting techniques as well. A little yeah, we have time. a lot, yeah. How do you get the record company behind you? Because presumably on a one year with an option to renew each mm. year, you have a situation where any of the major record companies might have 10 or 15 acts of the same sort of stature uh, as in Tuanua. Mm. How do you get them to plug for you and not for one of the other bands? I keep exciting them, I keep sending them more songs and saying we're going to be, the, it's great, just keep vibing them all the time. And sending them new stuff and saying we're doing this and just keep at them all the time, 24 hours a day. Well, now, we have a couple of Intua Nua fans in the audience. I know particularly we have Colm, who's sitting in the front row, and we also have Joyce up the back. Colm! Uh, how can you explain for the success you achieve in places like uh, Holland and Italy and Sweden when you haven't been out there yet? I can't understand it. <laughs> I wish it was great. I'm really excited about it. It's just word of mouth and people like uh, friends of ours, like yourself, you found a demo over in Scotland, and people word of mouth and by people saying, have you heard about Intua Nua? And it was actually... The, how it started in Europe was in the Italian thing. The three mm -hmm. Italians used to follow us around Ireland. So, to go there? Yeah, we're going to Holland on the 11th of November for a week. So we're very excited about that. Choice? Um, yeah. Most other Dublin <coughs> bands, they have their bass guitars, their lead guitars and the drummer and the lead vocalist. What made you decide to spread out into a seven-piece band with the more unusual um, yeah. instruments? Well, it was actually more by accident than by design. It wasn't planned that we were going. It just happened. The two, two of the guys, Martin and Ivan, the guitarist and the keyboard player, and they started up the band as an experiment, and they just wanted to try all these different instruments. I mean, we had everything. We had clarinets, cellos, and then it kind of limited it down. It was like an orchestra. And it was more like just for fun at the beginning. We weren't, it wasn't going to be a band. And it just happened that the seven instruments that we ended up with, we thought made a nice blend. So that's how we got it. Plans for the future, Leslie? Uh, well, hopefully we're having to have a release of the album in January, and then hopefully we'll be touring non-stop. That's what we hope to do. It's going to take quite a while. It's, it's a long-term plan. Yeah, absolutely. We'll hope we do a European tour, maybe a small uh, American club dates. Sounds there. good. 